Once again, welcome back to the ultimate Five Nights at Freddy's Iceberg. For those of you who are new here and haven't seen the first three parts, you should definitely check them out. They add a lot more context to this one, especially when touching upon previous concepts and thoughts. The link to them will be in the description. Once again, I have to give credit to my good old chum, Nano John, who created this iceberg and has helped me a lot in the creation of this video. Not gonna waste any more time with this, so let's get into the iceberg. Golden Cupcake The Golden Cupcake is a yellow colored cupcake that only appears in FNAF 3. He can occasionally replace the Toy Bonnie drawing on Cam 4. Judging by its official render image found on page 83 of the Freddy Files, the Golden Cupcake is merely the original cupcake's model but with yellow frosting. On the same page, a recipe for Chica's Golden Cupcake Pizza can be seen, but I don't think they're related. Tell anyone about this and I cut your throat. On very rare occasion when playtesting the Fruit Punch Clown in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, he will say, Tell anyone about this and I cut your throat. Instead of, Fruit Punch for everyone. Cancelled due to leaks. This refers to a teaser on ScottGames.com in the lead up to Sister Location. Many people thought this teaser meant that something had leaked from the game and that Scott was cancelling Sister Location. This however was not the case. If you brighten up the image, it tells the story of how Circus Baby's Pizza World was supposedly closed on its first day of maintenance due to gas leaks. I am not going to delve into the lore, but we all know that's not what happened. <laughs> Logbook Chica Logbook Chica is a minor antagonist of the third story in Fazbear Frights, Gumdrop Angel. She's a yellow chicken with a texture resembling fire damage. Her right arm and legs are deteriorated as well as the bottom half of her torso. She also seems to have the structure of classic Chica, but has an endoskeleton from FNAF 2. Her eyes are either looking to the left or just missing, though it's difficult to tell. The top part of her beak is missing, exposing her endoskeleton mouth and teeth. Her first and at the time only visual appearance was at the end of the updated Freddy Files, however she would later appear in Gumdrop Angel. She appears when the protagonist Hudson attempts to escape Fazbear's Fright. After a number of animatronic heads block the vent, a Chica head comes down after. However, this Chica is an entire animatronic, albeit heavily damaged. The Chica grabs Hudson's leg as he tries to escape the building. He tries to fight back, but he hears his crushed Faith's voice saying, I like you. Hudson fights back once again and makes them fall out of the vent. Hudson lands on the floor while Chica falls into a pile of animatronic parts. The parts rip Chica to pieces, leaving only yellow fur. FNAF 3 Night 7 This refers to an unused graphic in FNAF 3. The graphic is of the beginning of Night 7. In the final game, Night 7 just appears in the menu as a nightmare mode, as opposed to having a custom night like all the other games. Bear of Revenge Fukushin no Kuma, otherwise known as Bear of Revenge in English, are animated anime-like segments in Ultimate Custom Night. A new episode is shown once you reach a certain point milestone. Each cutscene initially follows Freddy, dressed as a samurai, narrating the validity of his battles against Foxy, while lamenting his current punishment for the week before rebounding and plotting revenge. The scene then transitions to Foxy in his dojo, gleefully remarking on the inevitability of Freddy's retaliation and declaring that he will be ready, while Mangle hangs from the ceiling in comments. All of the cutscenes tell their story via subtitles, as the dialogue is entirely spoken in Japanese. In addition, none of the dialogue matches the subtitles. The relationship between this Freddy and Foxy is theorized to be symbolizing Henry, Emily, and William Afton's relationship. Screws, Bolts, and Hairpins this refers to a magazine in the FNAF series, with its first appearance being in Sister Location. On Night 1, Hand Unit says the technician job for Sister Location was listed in the magazine. It can also be seen in the FNAF Survival Logbook. On page 4, which is the chapter marker, you can see Foxy reading a magazine called Screws, Bolts, and Hairprints. I honestly don't really know what this means, but I had seen one Reddit post that noticed all these objects hold things together. Screws and bolts hold machines together, and hairpins hold hair together. Bonnie and Chica Height Oversight This refers to how in the party room of FNAF 1, Chica appears to tower over Bonnie. This is definitely a mistake because they are roughly the same height in every other appearance. It could be a perspective thing, however they're seemingly right beside each other so I'm not really sure. Shadow BB Shadow BB is an infamous FNAF hoax. I can't find the original poster but I do remember seeing the image back in the day. He was said to be exclusive to the mobile ports of FNAF 2. The hoax is of a shadowy balloon boy with white accents. This obviously isn't in the game, and that's all I really have to say about it. Nightmare JJ 
This was an early FNAF 4 hoax that came out right after the Halloween DLC was published. If you recall, Plushtrap is replaced by Nightmare BB in the DLC, so most hadn't overly seen him yet. The hoax showed an edited Nightmare BB with different colors and eyelashes. This hoax was actually made by fellow YouTuber GoMotion. She is super talented at edits and you should definitely sub to her, link in the description. Molten Freddy Blueprint This refers to a blueprint found in the files of FNAF 6. It shows Molten Freddy, which as a reminder is a mix of Ballora, Funtime Freddy, and Funtime Foxy. It lists the remaining animatronic security tags as being active. I, I, I guess not Bonbon bon, though, I don't know if he was like possessed or not, or if he was separate from Funtime Freddy, but I, I guess he's not there. Anyway, this is also one of the first mentions of Remnant, which would become super important, and the first mention of Paragraph 4, which I'm not going to delve into as I'm not fully sure what it means. The characters' names were originally placeholders. This refers to how Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy were just temporary names for the characters to be replaced later. However, Scott had grown attached to these names and decided to keep them as their names, and I'm so glad he did. They're just the perfect names for the characters. Bilge Rat Bilge Rat refers to the lowest rank you can possibly get in the Pirate Ride minigame in Curse of Dreadbear. If you get this rank, you'll be jump scared by Captain Foxy, which is the only way you'll get jump scared by Captain Foxy. The reason this is so low is that most players probably wouldn't see this without trying to get it on purpose. Bonnie's Guitar Copyright This refers to how Bonnie's original guitar got changed due to copyright. Bonnie's original guitar was a Gibson Flying V. The guitar was chosen as it had a very iconic 80s vibe, and this guitar would go on to be used by Toy Bonnie and Rockstar Bonnie. However, the company of the guitar, Gibson Guitars, tried to sue Scott for using them. They also tried to sue Funko as they had made a fake Bonnie guitar toy. Scott obliged and the guitar was changed in every game post Help Wanted, including the console and mobile ports of FNAF 1, 2, and Pizzeria Simulator. Funko also stopped selling the guitar, and in any future merch, toys, and whatever would have this new guitar design. The funny thing is that in 2018, the FNAF Monopoly released, in which case the guitar was actually the new guitar, not the old one, so we should have seen this coming. He was here. This refers to the name of the Mangle Sprite in the files of FNAF 2. The sprite appears in the Save Them minigame, which also features William Afton. The he was here definitely refers to Afton being there. This may imply that Mangle witnessed one of Afton's murders, if we disregard the theory that Mangle is Susie's dog. Another FNAF fan game open source. Another FNAF fan game open source was a fan game created by Fiznum. It was shown and advertised as a FNAF 2 remake or remaster, even using models from Help Wanted. Even though Scott is fine with fan games, this infringes too much on the original and he requested GameDuel to take the game down for being too much of competition to FNAF 2. Even though Scott was totally justified in his takedown as it's offering a free alternative to FNAF 2, people have questioned his decision from a moral standpoint. However, this drama all blew over when Scott commissioned Viznum to make FNAF Plus, a FNAF 1 remake as part of the Fazbear fan version initiative. Sister Location MA we already talked about this in the Ultimate FNAF Iceberg Part 1, which you should check out if you didn't see it, but I'll cover it here again. Sister Location MA was a troll game by Scott in the lead up to Sister Location. Scott had said that Sister Location was becoming more adult than he had hoped for, and he was trying to make it less mature. He said that he would still release the first night as Sister Location MA on Game Jolt for free, but encouraged fans to wait for the game when it was fixed. The MA was actually just one of Scott's previous games, but the main character had a Freddy head. Another hilarious prank from good old Scotty C. Hidden Bitty Babs and Mini Renas. This refers to how Bitty Babs and Mini Renas can appear in some pretty strange spots. They can appear in Michael's home or in his popcorn, in the control module, in the elevator, and the control room. It is unknown if these Easter eggs are canon or not, due to the Mini Renas appearing in the popcorn, meaning they escape sister location. Blurred Newspaper Text. This refers to how most of the newspapers in the game, there is blurred text on the outside of the main circled topic. The blurred text is actually random facts that Scott wrote. Some of them reveal facts that we didn't know, such as that the characters' names were placeholders, but a lot of it was just jokes. Beta Control Module This refers to an early design of the control module in Sister Location's Extras menu. The most notable difference is how the vents were originally going to be a bunch of steel bars instead of... Well... Vents. Unused Puppet Frame this refers to an unused frame in FNAF 3 of the puppet's face. It might be a higher quality version of the last frame of his FNAF 2 jump scare, but I'm not sure. 
This was in the files along with the other puppet files from FNAF 2. FNAF 2 was meant to release in 2015. This refers to how in the first teaser for FNAF 2 with Withered Freddy, the date in the bottom says 2015. This would have meant that FNAF 2 would have released in 2015 as opposed to 2014. We all know that Scott being the madman he is released the game early. Another joke by Scotty C. Like it's not a joke, more of like a like a surprise. So like an, I guess another surprise from Scotty C. I guess. Bonbon bon and Yendo plush. These two plushes are two rumored slash fake plushies that had very similar circumstances. For those who aren't aware, the Sister Location plus set only had a bonnet plush. However, plushes started showing up of a GameStop exclusive Bonbon bon plush. However, these were most likely just a color edited bonnet plush. There was also a rumored Yendo plush that was a Best Buy exclusive, however there are no photos of him, meaning he's most likely not real. FNAF in real life. This refers to a series of images that supposedly show FNAF in real life. I know you've all seen these one and I feel a lot of nostalgia for some of these, but here we go. There is this one which was supposed to be Foxy, this real life Bonnie animatronic, this puppet looking thing, Foxy running down the hall, and of course, this image. Everyone believed this was the real life location, even though it was a little suspicious as there's no Freddy branding and it looks like just a regular old pizza place, which it was. This was obviously a hoax. However, the real location was called Papa's Pizza Parlor in Oregon. Rhymery. Rhymery is a Twitch streamer and was the first person to beat 5020 mode in Ultimate Custom Night. He beat it on July 8, 2018. I'll leave his Twitch channel in the YouTube channel in the description. Cancelled Theme Park Ride This is referring to the cancelled FNAF Dark Ride. I don't know if it was cancelled or not, but this entry seems to say so, so I'll stick with it. It was being created by Sally Dark Rides and was supposed to explore Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. He would ride in a golf cart of some sort and explore the many locations, including the office, Pirate's Cove with Foxy, the arcade with the puppet, this random room full of pizzas with Springtrap, this ball pit with Withered Bonnie, and the show stage with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. It sounds like a great concept, similar to the Fright Dome, but a thousand times better, and I'm pretty sad it's supposedly been cancelled. Springtrap Posters This refers to how some posters in Fazbear's Fright from FNAF 3 will change to feature Springtrap. SPRING BONNIE! Plushies Take Manhattan This refers to a planned script for the FNAF movie. It supposedly would have been similar to the Muppets Take Manhattan. Scott had revealed this along with the other planned screenplays in his Reddit posts. Scott said he wanted to burn this script with fire. A little harsh. However, I'm not sure if this is a joke or not due to its obscurity and just total randomness. Twisted Tales This refers to how the Fazbear's Fright book series was supposed to be called Twisted Tales. It's unknown why it was changed, however it might have been because it was too similar to the title of the Twisted Ones novel. Reversed Bibs this refers to how in UCN, Toy Chica and Rockstar Chica sometimes would have their bibs flipped due to their sprites being flipped. When Toy Chica would jitter in the office, her bib would be flipped, same with Rockstar Chica in the hallway. However, they were fixed in an update. It's also worth mentioning that in the FNAF World trailer when Adventure Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica pop up, Adventure Chica's bib is flipped. This one feels kind of lazy as he could have just like flipped the video, but I don't know. I'm not an animator. BB's Mouth this refers to how in FNAF 2 it looks like there is something in Balloon Boy's mouth. Some people thought it was an endoskeleton and some people thought it was his eyes. I personally think it's light seeping in through his eye holes, but that's just my theory. Another weird thing about Balloon Boy's mouth is that you can see his mouth is empty when he's in the left vent, which makes the object in his mouth even more strange. It doesn't seem to still be there, but who knows. I am super excited to dive even deeper into this iceberg, however, that'll have to be where our video ends today. But don't worry, because next week we'll have a new part ready for you. To make sure you don't miss it, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. It really helps out and make sure you don't miss the next part of the iceberg. Also, you should join our Discord server, we already have a great community and it's really fun. Anyway, I've been your host Lil T, and I'll see you guys next time.